Okay, good work to everybody. We are on Nun Tes Amid Beis. We're going to finish Bezer Hashem, Perik Cheska Sabatim, the, the second largest Perik in, in, in Shas. First one, of course, is Kedushin, Perik Aleph. Okay, so here we go. We're discussing Hezek Re'iyah. Now, you are a Shudfin. You're a Chatzar in the Shudfin. You have a partner. If you open up a window, you may be prone to go ahead and going in, seeing in his uh, his house. So therefore, one can't do it. The Gemara is going to speak in Kol Shekain L'chatzah Chavero, where you don't have Rishus. By a Shutif in the Chatzah, you have right in the Chatzah. But to open up to your friend's Chatzah, which you have no Rishus, certainly you can't open up a window. A second case, a second case, L'kach Ba'is B'chatzah Cheres, L'yiftachenu B'chatzah Rashutfin. Let's say you are you have a shutfis in a chutzer and you buy a house in a, a chutzer that is behind. You open up a back door to your new house, and that would allow people to go through your your new house into the chutzer which you have a previous shutfis in that you own. You're not allowed to do that because you're going to increase traffic. Now the increase in traffic is interesting because that also was a din of Hesek Re'iyah, as we'll see, as we'll see in, in the Rashbam in a, in, a, in a second. A third case, Bona Ali Agabe Beisa. If you build a duplex on top of your house and you go now and you rent it out, leif the chenol lechutzer shutfin. You can't go ahead right and let it go into the chutzer shutfin for the same reason of increasing traffic. Elim Ratzah. If you want to do something that what right, is a heter, here's the heter. Albeit it's a bit. The Gemara will explain it. And it's it's cryptic in the Mishnah. And what's the heter? And Ratzah Bona was a chadul of nim mi Beisa. You build an extra room in your house. Ubona Ali al Gabe Beso, when you build an Ali on top of your house, which doesn't make any sense because you just told me you can't do that. Who poisachas the type base and it opens up into your house. The Gemara is going to ask, Lechaira, you're increasing the traffic by these new binyanim, so what's the story? So the Gemara will, will explain. Says the Gemara, Why do you care that you, you can't open a window into a chutz and a shufin because it has a griya? I feel a chutz and a very nami loy. Says Gemara. Let me boy come out. Let me boy the loy. Of course, you can't go ahead where you have no jurisdiction whatsoever and open it up. But in the chutzra shufin, the amale, soif soif, hokaboy, it's tanuye minoy, the chutzra. The bottom line is, is since I have a right to the chutzra and you have a right to the chutzra, we both have to watch out for each other. So you might think that if I get a window, that it won't be any big spritz, because after all, I have a right anyway. So in other words, you always, Hesek Re'ir is where I can't anticipate you seeing me. But since you have a right to the Chatzar and Shufis, I have that anticipation anyway. So you might think, since you have to be on guard because of the Chatzar, you might have to, you might be permitted to open a window. Until now, before you open the window, the only place I have to be on guard, not to, not to, to be the uh, <clears throat> vigilant and not being, you know, hesekriya is only when I'm in the chutzner. But hashd, if you can open up a window, I feel bebayis nami when it's nui minach. Even in the house, I'm gonna have to be careful from you. I'd like to go ahead and do the first rashbam in the Gemara. My area lechutzner should fin harabim the lo yifta that you can't open up to 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 other people. The mashmuf they say rabim chashinon. It's because there are people. So now, if the reason is for people. L'chayr has nothing to do with a shutfis or or what or or your chaver. You can't have, create a situation where you're going to have more traffic. Why? You know the increase in traffic without the rashbam. You would think it's just one second. I don't need more more people coming on my block, right? I don't need increase uh, increase the amount of traffic. It's nothing to do with the increased amount of traffic and your quality of your life. It's because of the increase of traffic you have a problem of hezek re'iya, says the Gemara. So uh, says the Rashbam. Shlai yasalem hezek re'iya. Afilu yachid re'iya nami yasal hezekai. The hilkach afilu lechatzer chaveri nami loy. In other words, since it's a problem of of hezek re'iya, that even you shouldn't be able to up to open up a window to uh, to your your. Uh, Friends, chutzer, regardless of the shutfin. So therefore, the Gemara answered, "You're right. Let me buy come on. Let me buy chaveroi. That clearly you can't do it. But afilu b'shutfis, which you you had a right of of, of a lack of hesekri in the chutzer, kemashmon. You have to be vigilant about the about the house, that about the window." Says the Gemara. 
Tanarabanan, Maisa Bodha Mecha, there was a Maisa with a certain person, Shapasa Khaloy Nois of the Chatzra Shutfin, that he had a window open to the Chatzra of the Shutif, who Bolifne Rabbi Shmoil Barab Yoisi, a Maloy, Hixakta Bini Hixakta. Rabbi Yoisi said, Guess what? Right away, you are, in other words, a, this Rabbi Shmoil is telling us a, a big Chiddish. We'll see Rashbam in a second, that this is such a trespass of privacy that you would have a chaloin open that your failure to be meicha immediately would create a chazaka and not you would not require three years. Says Rashbam, three lines from the bottom. Hechsaktam bini hechsakta savala. Rabbi Shmuel is of the opinion la alta havi chazaka. Immediately it's a chazaka. You don't have to wait three years. The kivin the b'faneno hechsik sits in front of us. He was machzik to open a window. This shasak and he remained silent. In Isa de Shaloi Bishusasa, if in fact that Wadi did it without permission, he should have gone ahead and, and right away complained. Behind the Amin and the Pirk and the El, this is what we said in the, in the previous uh, uh, Perik, Keman, like our Perik, not the previous Perik, in, 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 in Keman, Kareb Yehuda, Ukreb Yishmael, Rabbi Yossi, Dama Kol, Befonov, anything Befonov is the Alta Bechazaka, then Allah came. Now, as we said earlier in, the, in, in, in this Perik, that this din of three, three years of chazaka is only if the person's not around. But there's an opinion if the person's around, you don't have to wait three years. Guys, you might recall we spoke of the Ramban, correct? The Ramban spoke out the whole union of cheska shalashanim is really you should be moicha right away. And But we said, and it's a reyista that you didn't. But the other person had a reyista because he doesn't have a star, right? We, we went back and forth. But this is consistent with that. And this is the opinion. We don't pask in this way. But in this is the source for immediately, if a person is not Micha, it's a chazak. Amaloi, exact me exacta. Ubolofne Rebchia, they came in front of Rebchia, Amar, and Rebchia, uh, they came in front of Rebchia, and what did, and what did Rebchia tell them? Rebchia told them that Lifne of Amar, your gato upasakta, you were Magia and you were Paiseach Kaloinoisov, and now, Yoga system. Go ahead, just like you worked. Go ahead and open it up. Go ahead immediately and close it. Why? Because you don't have a rishus. If the guy was meicha, again, we don't pass him immediately. It's a chazaka right away. What? It's it's a it's a you have to close up because the, you can't be open up a window to your friends or even shutif and kol shekain chaveri. I'm Rav Nachman. I'm an Aleph. The list of la'alta havi chazaka, right? And says 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 Rav Nachman. Says Rav Nachman, a person that has he has a chazaka in the chaloin for three years in Chatzra Shutfin. Now, see, for three years he's there, and the guy didn't say anything. And the guy comes and he, and he builds he builds a house, right? And now the list line, guys, immediately if he is quiet when this person goes ahead and builds a wall, connected his window, immediately it's chazaka. So this guy has his muhsik that he can have a window there. A guy comes along, builds a wall opposite the window. As a result, he, he decreases the ability of illumination in the house. If the person doesn't say anything, forget three years, immediately what he sees muhsik to have the wall there, and, and the person can't can't uh, tell him to take it down. Continuing the next piece. We said, if you go ahead, you have a chotzer shutfin. Now you have an adjoining chotzer, and you go ahead, you buy a place there, and now you open up in your place. Now they can go through the other place, right? So this is the increase the you're increasing the traffic and then the old chotzer. My timer. What's the reason? Because you mar baleim es aderech. Let, let's see Rashbam guys. Three lines down. Shemar baleim es aderech. You're going to have a majority of people now going in more than before. And what's the key? And no longer do you have what? Sneos, meaning Sneos is synonymous for what? Hezek right? It's synonymous. You don't have, you have a problem. Hezek So therefore what? Again, this is the Right. Continues the Gemara. Eima uh, Sefer. You want to go ahead and build something that would be permitted. You build what? 
in your house, you build in your a room in your house, Uboina Aliyah Agabe Beisai, and now you, you go ahead and you build an Aliyah on top of the house. Now, if you build an Aliyah on top of the house, you're increasing the traffic. So what did you gain? In the ratio, you're telling me you can't go ahead, buy an adjoining lot, go ahead, open the door, because you're increasing traffic by building a new a new house, appendage to your house, renting that out. What are you doing? The same thing. So you have a steer in the Mishnah. The first part of the Mishnah permitting, uh, saying it's usr, and the latter part of the Mishnah says, oh, no problem, increase traffic. So I'm Rav Huna, my chada shecholka b'shnayin, my aliyah is aftoy. Now, fellas, if I go ahead and I have 20 kids and I live in the Chatzah, so if I don't kill myself before, right? I don't kill myself before, no one can stop me. You can't say, well, you can't have so many kids going to increase the traffic in the Chatzah. When could you have a Taina if you build a new appendage and then it's increasing traffic? But as long as it's within your house, so the Mishnah is saying that you build, it's meaning you're not building on top. You're split level in your house within itself. Let's say you have very high ceilings. Let's say it's 20 foot high ceilings. You're going to build it a 10 foot mark, a, 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 a floor. You'll have a hole in the floor. And now you'll have a duplex, but it's within the parameters of the house. Once it's in the parameters of the house, then there's nothing to talk about. Then you can't say, well, you're increasing traffic. Why? Because when it's in your house, it's in your house. And that's permitted. And that's the, the terrace. We'll see what Aftoy is in the next parak. It, we deal with it in the first half of, of the next parak. It's called Yitzia, and Bez Hashem will go into that at length. Bez Hashem will get there. <laughs> Says the Mishnah. <laughs> in you, you have Chatzar Shutfin, you have right to be there, but don't open your door, connect his door. Nor his, your window, connect his window. If the window is small, don't increase it. Uh, 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 if, uh, it could be, I'm, I'm saying window, it could be door. It could be uh, Pesach also, maybe Pesach. Uh, if it's if it's one, don't make it two. But what could you do? So if my my door is over here and your door is over here and there's Rosh Hashanah going through, there's no problem of Hezekiah because you have to watch after the Rosh Hashanah. Forget me on the other side. You have to watch after the Rosh Hashanah anyway. So my that will be permitted. And therefore the same Svar of Chaloin Keneged Chaloin across if the Rosh Hashanah is, 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 is going in between. If it's small, you can make it big. If it's one, you can make it two. How do you know you shouldn't go ahead have one Pesach connected to another Pesach? I'm Rabbi Yochanan, the Makro, a very famous source. Vayisa Bilam es Einov, Bilam lifted up his eyes. Vayaris Israel Shoichen Lishvatov. He saw from a top that all the, the Shvatim were residing according to their various Shvatim. And what did he see that was so unique? Mara, Rosh, and Pischei Olaheim Mukhubanam Zelize. He saw that the openings of their tents were not Mukhuban to each other, that they couldn't look into each other's tents because of privacy. So Amar, he said, it's right that since they're so bit snios, that the shechina should be shayra upon them. Let's see Rashbam over here. It says Rashbam and Gemara, before it gets wide, about five lines up, he saw the way they resided. He saw, then he gave how beautiful are the tents of Yaakov, how good they are. Shein pischei oleim b'chubonim, Umachni Yisrael kechatz rashutvin dami. The Machni Yisrael is like the chatz and rashutvin. Why? Like how you shus rabim el b'machnol levia. The only place that had a shus rabim was machnol levia. Can I mean a mesech the Shabbos? Let's see twice this fellas. Ruiyin halolu shetisu shchin aleim may safe with the kra darish the chsiv that the heyalov ruach aleikim. So you see that what the twice and Rashbam are learning two different pshatim. Rashbam is learning from Matovu Allah Yaakov. Twice is learning from. The fact that the Shrina was Shaira, that he had Nevuah as a result. So that's the source that the Pesach shouldn't be connected to Pesach. Continues the Gemara. Now, guys, remember from the first Perak and Msech the Erevin, if you have a house, you get automatically four Amis connected the door. You have to unload, right? Remember, that was the donkey unloading zone, right? Connected your Pesach, you got four Amis, yes? If you had get that again, so that's the that's the key to the the the, the sugi over here. So sovereign rechol lemeiman bar dalid you loy lashve bar tnan you should make it eight. Why not? Because shokol timnaya bechatzer. As a result of you going ahead and making an other increased door, you're going to increase your what 
your space in the in the in the chutzer. So the half amina is so this is what he thought to say. When the Mishnah says if it's cut and you should make a gadol, why? Because you're gonna be going ahead and taking on more space in the chutzer because you're gonna get four amas connected your door. Avobar tarti bar arba dummy. But if it's a two to a four, fellas, where you're not increasing your 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 area in the chutzer, because a two gets four and a four gets four. In other words, there won't be any difference. If you have an opening that's two or an opening that's four, all you're getting in the chutzah is four, correct? So therefore, you might think that shop your dummy, you could do that. Amale, Rava, Rava told Rami Varchama, Matzi Amale, the Pischa Zutra Matzinu Litsanu Yiminach, a small opening I can watch out. The Pischa Rabba Le Matzinu Litsanu Yiminach, a larger one I can't. So even from two to four, in other words, it's not like you, Rami Varchama said, that the reason why you can't increase is because you're taking away more area of the chatzar. It's a hezekriya dikadin. I can go ahead and watch. If the opening is only two, I can be more vigilant. Once you get to four, I can't. So even a two to four, you will be able to stop. Because it has nothing to do with the swara of taking up four amis in front of every opening. It has nothing to do with the opening. It has to do with the ability to go ahead and avoid people looking in. The same gemara, but not with increase of space, but division. If it's one, don't make it two. Because shakal tamni bechutzer. If it's four, don't make it. If it's if it's four, don't make it two two. Because guys, you're going to get four connected each two. If it's four, you only get four amis. If it's two, you get four amis. If you get two two, you get eight amis. Four for each one. Again, the same svara that Rami applied in the first case. He said if it's an eight, the shavya bnei arbo arbo shapidami. Now, if it's eight, how much are you getting? You're getting eight. So if you go ahead and divide it to four, you're getting four and four. I would think you can make that division up, right? So you're going from eight and you're staying at eight. Says the Gemara Amalei Rava Matzi Amalei. One pesa, I can go ahead and avoid you. The trailer I can't go ahead and, and, and avoid. And therefore, it's the same svara that you can't do it. So, regardless of the size, regardless of the division, you can't go ahead and divide. Pesach, the reason is you have to avoid Rabbim anyway. So my opening of a Chaloin or a Pesach is not going to be mafria your Hezegria because you have to go ahead and, and, and be vigilant of all the people going through. So my opening on the other side is not going to make a difference. Next Mishnah. Okay, this person is digging in his own Rishus. He's digging a, a water cistern. And now he needs more space in the Rishus Rabbim. Now you're going to say, well, what kind of half Amina is that why you should be able to go ahead and dig underneath public property. People might get damaged. He goes, okay, if any damage takes place, I'm going to, be, I'm going to go ahead and make it good. So the halacha is that good, any damage is going to make good, but the other person doesn't want to go to Bezdin. You can't be my shikh and go down to Court Street, right? It's a pain in the neck to go to Court Street. I'm not going, right? So, so therefore, even if he wants to pay for the damage that takes place, you're not able to go ahead <clears throat> and dig. Well, there's a matter to dig. We had this earlier. In the, earlier on Daf Chab Zayin. In other words, if you make a, a cover so secure that a, a wagon full of stones can go over it, so I don't think about the future. Rebelez only thinks about the hashta, the now. If right now this is able to go ahead and withstand a tremendous amount of weight, you could do that. The Chacham disagree. They say, <clears throat> you know, it can have good. Right now, it could, it, it could, it could take a tremendous amount of, of weight. But like any infrastructure... Drive on the right lane of a highway. You're guaranteed that the, that lane is worse than the le- middle or left because the trucks have to go in the right lane. Anyone who drives knows that. It's, it's a mitzvah. The, the, the wear and tear on the infrastructure. So the Chachamim say, <clears throat> forget the hashta that you could take. It's a freshly paved, paved road or it's a good covering. You have to be concerned about the future where it might go ahead and, and uh, it might go ahead and you know fall in. Aim with seeing Zizin the Kustars which the Rabbim is second in. You can't go ahead and, and put a giz is a thinner construction, so is a bigger uh, protrusion from your house. It was just a rabbin, because again, <clears throat> it's going to be my free of the people going through. LM Ratza, if you want to go ahead, this is where we had earlier. Kindness the Right now, so 
here's your Rishus Rabbim. Here, here's your Ziz. It's going out. Can't do that. Can't do that. Why? Because they're, they're going to go ahead and get trampled up. Now, what happens if I go ahead and recess my property and now this? That you could do because this really is my property. I, it's Rishus Rabbim. Now, okay, tough. I, I could go ahead if I want these zizim so much, they mean on the guzatra so much, do it on your own property. So, look at chatzar. What happens if you buy a chatzar? Well, both zizim destroys. And this chatzar, <clears throat> in fact, does have these projectiles going out to Shisarabim. Do we say you bought an illegal property? Or do we say this guy you bought it from, obviously, was he went ahead and, and recessed his own, he made his own easement, for, so to say, and therefore, says the Gemara, how you kasa, it's in the Chazak Awad of he did he, that he was he was permitted to do this. Says the, the Gemara, Rabbanon, who do not allow you to go ahead and dig in the Rosh Hashanah and cover it with a, a very solid covering, Zimd in the Mafsik, it's going to go ahead wide and be de deteriorated. Lava that time, you will know about it. Again, Rashbam points out <coughs> the Chachamim. Don't care about the hashta, they think about the future. Whereas Rabbi Elazar cares about the hashta. Amit sees in Zizim with choice. Rav Ami Havile Ziza the Havinofet Lumuvoi. Rav Ami, he had Zizim that were going out into a Mavoy. Again, a Mavoy is the alleyway between the adjoining Chatseris. If Ahu Gavra Nami Havile Ziza, Davi Mafik Rusha Sarabim. And this person had Ziz that went out to Sarabim. And the Bene Rusha Sarabim brought this guy to court. Asla came to Rav Ami, they came in front of Rav Ami. Amalei, Rav Ami told him, Zil kites, go cut down your, your projectiles. Amalei, so the individual told Rav Ami, Vamar Nami Islay, Didi Lamavoy, uh, so Islay, you also have. So Lechaira, how can you tell me not? So I have to say Amalei. So Amalei, so Rav Ami told this individual, Didi Lamavoy Mafik. My season go out into a Mavoy, and Bene Muvoy Machlin Gaboy. My, the people in the Mavoy, they all are Michael and allow me to have my Ziz and go out. Did you go to every single person who goes through the Esmechila? Obviously not. That's the difference between the two cases. Again, not, not difficult Gemara at all. Rav Yanei Havilei Elon Hanoitel of Shusarabim. Rav Yanei also did not, he had a, a, a tree, a branch going out to Shusarabim. Have Yehu Gavra the Havilei Nami Elon Hanoitel of Shusarabim. Also, Bnei Rishus Rabbim, the Bnei Rishus Rabbim brought this guy to court. Have you come Atvil Ave? Right now, he he it, it was they they wanted to get rid of it. Us the Kamei Rav Yanai, who had the same issue as this guy, he came in front of Rav Yanai. So Amale Zilla Idna Betela Macha. So he told him, "Listen, <clears throat> you go ahead and, and and come back tomorrow. Why? Because now Rav Yanai is going to have to go ahead and cut down his." Own branches, right? He's going to have to take care of business, right? Says the Gemara, uh, Belayla, that night while the other guy was going home, was home, Shoda Katsyo Lahu Diday, he went ahead and cut down his branches that were extending into Shisarabim. Lemachar Asla Kamei, the next day he came in front of him, Amalei Zil Kites, and Rabbi told this individual, go cut down your tree. Amalei, the individual said, Hamar Nami Isle, Amalei Zil Chazi, go and look. He cuts the D. If I cut down mine, cuts the dach. He like cuts the D. And if I didn't cut down mine, like see cuts as at. You don't have to cut down yours. Now, may cut my sub. Let me save my sub. What was the change? What did he hold initially? And what did he change? Well, Rabbi Yana obviously changed, right? May cut a sub. Nichlo hule bnei shusarabim the yossi betule. He thought initially that bnei shusarabim they were very fine sitting in the shade of my tree. There was shade over there. Even the chazi to come akve. Since they said that there was Ma'akiv, that in other words, the people don't want it there. Now, why, guys? So why wouldn't they bring Rav Yanai to court? Because of the cover of Yanai. In other words, Rav Yanai felt the following. Since no one ever complained about my tree being Rosh Hashanah, it must be they felt <clears throat> they, they, had, they had some type of use of the tree. What would the use be of, of a branch? The shade. That's what he thought. But now he sees that they're bringing these individuals to court why did he realize? No, they were just cutting me slack because I'm Rabbi Yanai. And therefore he cut it down. That's what happened between what? When he, the guy came to court and he told him, wait, and he cut down. That's, that's, the, that's the dialogue that's written between the lines. 
Kim the Chazid the Kama Akvi, since he saw the people of Shusarabim were not happy with this tree, shod the Katsya, he went in, and went ahead and cut down his own. Says Gemara, Belay Malay Zil Koitz Didach. Then he go cut down, Behoda Rakatsi Di. Try the Gemara, why didn't he tell him first, you cut down mine and I'll, you cut down yours and I'll cut down mine? Mishum, the Dresh Lakish Damar, his Koishasu, the Koishu, Koshit Atzmacha, first go ahead and literally check into yourself, Yakach Koshit Acherim. In other words, don't tell a person to go ahead and do something that you yourself don't do. Very interesting, Rish Bam over here, this Lushan. Guys, look, look at the Lushan. The first, the fourth line down. It's kash mi necha. Remove the straw between your eyes. Go ahead, remove the straw between your eyes, and then 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 what? Then tell someone else to remove the straw between his eyes. You know, do as I say, do as I say something. Avavi, you're, you're the guy with these things. Do as I do, not as I say. Some, is that is this appropriate for this Gemara or not? Yeah, he, he well, he 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 said what he 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 did it first so that he could say it. Okay, yeah, that's that's I think that's the bar. Okay, great. That's basically what it is. He said, "Avalam Ratsa, kindness of Teshuvah, you might see. If he wants, he can go ahead, recess his property, and go ahead and then build have have these things going out." Iboyelahu, kanas. Let's say he went ahead, he recessed his property, he didn't go ahead right away and build. Is it is he Michael? Or do we say he can build at any time? So again, he recessed his property, but uh, I would assume for the purpose of building, you know, this these, these projectiles out. And now he want he he uh he didn't do it. Did he lose his rights or not? What's the din? Can he go back and, and build? He could. He can't. We'll explain it to you. To go ahead and build out even you could. Again, that's not the concern. You, there's no statute of limitations if you Recess your property and build regarding building out. The might see. Keep pligi. When's the machleichis? Lahachsik, lahachsik solemn kaimam. Can you go ahead and build out your walls? In other words, I recessed. I took my walls, I recessed. So regarding the zizim, that you could do forever. Can I now build my walls out? Once I bring, build them in, and like kind of being mafkir to the Rabim, can I retake them or not? That's the that's the machlaikis. And it's the opposite of what you said earlier. You said Rayyachan said Maitzi, and Rayyachan says Aina Maitzi, it's the opposite. The Ibcha, Ibma. Rabbi Yachan Namar, Aina Machser. Once you build in, and the people in Shusarabim have gotten accustomed to using that area, right? Aina Machser, you're not able to retake it. Rayyachan Shama Machser, you could. Because of the halacha of Rabbi Yehuda, the Amar of Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says we had this in Baba Kama before. Motza Meitzar Shechsiko by Rabbim. If you have a Meitzar, a boundary, a road that the Rabbim began using, asal kalkal, you can't be makalkal. So once you recessed your property, and the Shusar Rabbim have got, and the people of Shusar Rabbim got got accustomed to go ahead and using it, you no longer have the right to go ahead and retake it. And therefore, since the halacha is like Rabbi. Yehuda, we want, the, since the Lachas like Rabbi Yechonon as well, we want Rabbi Yechonon aligned with Rabbi Yehuda rather than the opposite. When when we say that a Meitzar, that, that the Rabbin have used, you can't go ahead and retake, that's when there's no extra space. But over here, obviously there was a Shusar Rabbin there before. He recessed it and made the Shusar Rabbin larger. Once if they retake it, you'd still have the previous Rishus Rabim, which would leave people enough area. So says Rish Lakish that why we you could you could retake it because since there's a raf, but there's still a space, there's a space. If you buy one, if you bought one, we don't say the individual illegally went ahead and, and had these things projecting out, but in fact, what he has the chazaka that he had that permission. Amrafuna, nafla, if it falls down, chayzer ubaynaisa, you can go back and build it. 
it falls down, you can build it. Mesive, aim Mesaidin, the aim Mekairin, you can't whitewash your walls. Mekairin, make pictures on your walls. The aim Mefaichin, and paint your walls. Bisman Hazer. This is a din, guys, in in Churban Bayas. Like after Churban Bayas, we want to Zechel Lirushalayan. So these are things that we should not do. If you find a chotzer that in fact was <coughs> was had had lime, mechayarois, mechayarois, and there's all different things that we're not allowed to do. When you find one that was, that's when it's chazaka. Nafla once it falls down, so you can't go back and rebuild it. So why over here by chotzer could you go ahead and rebuild it? Why by here by the Indian based on me this you can't rebuild it. Now the khair it's a it's a pellet to go svar. What's the svar to what are you comparing one to the other? So for the, you need we need Tysus over here, guys, to explain what's the half amina, what's going on over here. Again, if you go ahead, you it fell down, you bought a house, it had a chazaka that you could have the, the things going out, you could rebuild it. Based on Migdosh was speaking about mm. it it was it was painted over all the things you shouldn't do it was. You have a chazaka that it was, but if it falls down, you can't. Where's the two still one to the other? Says Taisus. Hap Taisus. Hash the Salkadaitach. The bias shebona bisman shebes hamigdash kayim. If you built a house in the time that the bes hamigdash was in existence, vinnafla, and the house fell in, chayzeru boina. You can go ahead and rebuild it as long as the bes hamigdash is around. Ukeshalaka chotzem yisadais. Havizu beches kasa. The chol zman shei kayemes. If the whole time the bes hamigdash is around. Okay, so as long as it's around, we can say it was built in the time of the Beis Hamikdash. That's as long as it's around. Avo, once it falls in, Avo Kishenafla Talinan will be Taila Sheb Eiser Nasis La Ach La Ach Churban. It was made by Eiser. Umishemachi Parach Arav Huna Amai Chazu Boyne Oisa Kiven the Nafla Islan Lemitli Shebi Sura Haitzi. So guys, outside. What's this? We see in the base of Migdash. If you have a let's, you have a you're not supposed to paint. paint let's say we, you're not supposed to paint the wall. If you buy a wall that's painted, we'll say that it was put up when the base of Migdash was still in existence. But once it falls down and the base of Migdash is not around, we'll say it was put up Issa. So so too over here. As long as it's standing, we'll say that what that is Chazaka that the guy had a right to put out the projectiles. But once it fell in, we'll say the same thing. That was dumb to That's the half a mean of the Gemara to make the two shell. What's the terrace of the Gemara? Umishani, the Gemara answers, Isura <coughs> shiny. It's different. Isser, right? It's different. It's different. Isser says Taisus Umishani. Isura shiny. That filu vaday nivna beheter ki nafla aslab noisa lasayid. Even if what we knew was built beheter. Then, if you knew it was built the heter, you would know how, you wouldn't have a right to go ahead and rebuild it. Why? Because the base of is not around anymore. So, in the Havamina, we thought it was built the heter. We're saying over here that that it was it was in the Havamina it was built in the time base of were were okay. Over here, even the base of Migdash, it was built the heter. If it fell down, it still be yasa. So, Masha'en came out by Mammon, we don't say that's far. By Mammon, the guys didn't Mammon, we don't say this far just because it fell down. It was built this. We what you can't put it back up. But the base on Migdash one, even it was the built the the guys. Once it falls in, you're finished. Once it falls in, you're finished. Mashain came mom in just because it fell in, you're not finished. Once the base on Migdash is destroyed, I can't rebuild it, even though it was built the However, over here, just because it fell in, what's the smart to say you can't rebuild it? Right? So therefore, that's the difference between the two. So we now, since we digress to discuss Akasha from the Beis Migdosh, the Gemara digresses, a very famous Gemara, to discuss things we do because of Zeichel L'Chorbet. Okay, Zeichel L'Chorbet. Tan Rabbanon. Le'yosit Adam es Beisai, besid, person shouldn't whitewash his walls totally. Then iriv b'choyol oiteven, if it gets mixed into the whitewash of uh, Sand or straw, then mutter. It seems it changes the color. It doesn't bring such simcha. It's it's some type of tarkasid, but it, it's uh, 
it's a binyan chazak. It's very, very good. And therefore, what? It's not permitted. Heaven mutter. Okay. Tanrabana. Kishachar of a bias. Bishnia. Rabbi Prushim be Yisrael. When the second base of this was destroyed, Rabbi Prushim be Yisrael. Prushim, terrible people. That what? Shalei Lechel. No, no, excuse me. I, I, I made a big mistake. Parish is good. They're very, very good people. They're Purushim. So when the second base of ministry was good, Rabu Purushim be Yisrael, Shlai Lechel Basar, not to eat meat anymore, Ushlai Lishlai Siai, not to drink, called Zechel Churban, not to drink, eat meat or drink wine. Nitful Lehem of Yeshua, Yeshua and Hananiah went to deal with them. Amalehem, Bini, or Bonai, Fema Iatam Oichlin Basar, Vena Tam Shaisim Yayin, Amuloi, Nechal Basar, Shemi Menu Makriven, Al Gabi Mizbeach. The actual bottle, nish the yayin shemach shemenaskin agav mizbeach the libations that were put on mizbeach. The actual bottle, amol hemim kain lechem loy nechal. You should eat bread. Shekvar bottle menachos. So they said, you're right. Ev should be Paris. We can eat Paris. Paris loy nechal. Shekvar bottle bikurim. So Ev should be Paris. Acherim bikurim is only from Rav Yavi. The seven fruits that were mentioned in this week's parsha, right? The seven fruits of bikurim. Mayim le nishte shekvar bottle nisa chamayim shasku. So he finally he, he had a victorious statement. So he told them, Amal lehem Rabbi Yeshua told them, Bonai, boy of Amal lehem shloivus abel kolika. Don't be misabel so much. The efsha shekvar nixer gazera. Right? It's not it's not possible because we're in men of gazera. Who is alba yosemi dai efsha shen goyz and gazera let sibur elam kain right sibur yachul yachul amid boy. You can't go ahead and make a a gazera that the sibur can't take. So the Prushim, who were able to go ahead and refrain from eating meat and drinking wine, okay, but what about the Hamoinam? You're going to make a Gezerah not to drink meat and eat wine, or from your wine, we will go crazy. We won't be able to do that, right? We're happy to do that. You need to go ahead and bring food to people's houses, right? Drink wine and eat meat, you need this. So the Gezerah, the people can take this Gezerah. Now, where do you know that you won't be able, that if you have a Gezerah that can't stand, that you shouldn't go ahead and and, and keep it. So the, there's a pasuk here that's describing It seems to me that people were not going ahead and giving trumas and maisa. So they made a gazera, they should go ahead, they were makabal, a curse on themselves, they wouldn't bring maisa. They were makabal, a curse on themselves, they what, if they wouldn't, wouldn't, bring, wouldn't bring maisa. That was the, the, the main, I think, which navi, the navi, it's a fanya, or malachi. Malach, excuse me, the Navi Malache. Okay, so they made and they made a gazera that what that to go ahead. If you look at Rashbam, Meira Atem Naorim, he bought them Alechem be gazeris Oror. They makab himself a gazera of curse. Lahevi Amaisa El Beis Oitzer Kedusiv Malache Hevi Wes Kol Amaisa Biafa Pikein VeOisi Atem Koivim Atem Goislam You cursed, you you robbed, you stealing as the Amaisa as a Truma Kedusiv. And then he says, the next passage, Goy Kulai, Kloima, the Cholakahal Kulai Kiblu as a Gzera, Umistama im Loyhoyu Kulam, Yochalamidba, Lahoyim Maskimim. If they all couldn't accept it, they wouldn't have agreed. The Ruboy is Kakulain, Al Mole Hashiva Gzera, and came Ruboy Yochalam Lamid boy. So we see over here that since Roiv of the people, Makabal, that we learn out, in order for a Gzera to be, uh, to be <coughs> uh, decreed, it has to be that what that Roiv of the Tsibor. Can stand it. So this gazera of not eating meat. So in other words, they made this gazera. So they they said we can't get rid of it. We can't get rid of the gazera because again, it's the churban bias is not around anymore. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and mitigate. We're going to go ahead and make it much less. People could eat meat because again, it's not a gazera that people could stand. People could drink wine, but it's not a gazera that people could stand. So what what, what are some of the things that people could do? Elakas omer chachamim. Sod Adam es basically besid, um is shaya boy dove and muet. Not your whole house should be whitewashed. <clears throat> Paint your house, leave an area unpainted. The kama, um Rabbi Yosef, ama la ama, and um Rabbi Chista, kenegada pesach. So many people do that. You walk into a house, you'll see a square area that is what is is unpainted and it's a it's a zechel churbin. Oisa Adam called Sarchi Suda. A person should make could take care of all the Sarchi Suda. And leave over a little bit. Don't buy 
Don't buy kisa the hasna. Sometimes I have fried fish, fried little fishies. A woman should go ahead and have a jewelry. Some type of ornament around the temples. Why should you do these things? Very famous post. By a chasana, the place where you put your fill in, that they know you to take a piece of ash and put it on the head of the chasan. And pear is what is a crown, it's the makam of tefillin. So really, we should not be eating meat. Really, we shouldn't be drinking wine. But we can make a gazer that the tzibah cannot withstand. And the times where the Romans were poshed in Malchus or Shah, so gazeres alenu gazeres rois, they were gazer on us terrible gazeres, the kashois, umavet umavetelis mimenu tayre, they didn't let us learn, or mitzvis, the aim in nechas, I son of the konish the shuas aband, they didn't let us go ahead and make a bris mila, which takes place after seven days, but in mila li shuas aband, which is a pidyan aband, dinu shenigs al atzmenu shalisa isha, we shouldn't get married at all. In other words, if we can't learn Torah, we can't have brismila, we can't be part of that children, there's no, the soul can't exist. So rather than have the Goyim stop, let us stop. Now, if you look at Toysus, Toysus says, Dinu right? How can we go ahead and be mavatal and mitzvah Maybe the ones who should stop having children are the ones who fulfilled Pirvarivya. That that means the Zera of Ram will be Kila. Why? Because you won't have multiple children, you only have one, one, one male child and one female child. We remember the Gemara Yavam is we passed in like base Hillel that in Kaim Pirvarivya you need a, a boy and a girl. And so therefore. Toysis goes ahead and addendums the Gemara. It doesn't mean the Klayasrol would go ahead and cease to exist, but you'd be very limiting the size of Klayasrol, people just having one child or two children, you know, a Ben or a Bas. Uh, and why? Because better we stop than the Goyim stopping us. That's what the Mepharshim say. Says the Gemara, El Hanaklam Yisrael, Mutav Shei Shoygin, Valyum Ezidim. Better Yisrael, they should be Shoygin, Valyum Ezidim. If you look at at uh, the last taste, this mutav shei shoygin better to be over the shogeg the elohim the alu mezidim. In other words, better not make something that you can do in avera the shogeg than you know that people will do it on purpose anyway. Bedava shein yedua if mikablu we don't know for sure if you accept it kisha nimcha behen imlav. In other words, you don't know if you'll be moicha the people will stop or not. You know, Tysus is giving us a guideline. When do we say mutabi again? That's when you're unsure if you would tell the person to stop doing it, whether it's stop or not. If you don't know for sure, so the, so if you know for sure that the person would listen, if you might, then we don't say mutabi again. If you're not sure, that's when we say mutabi again. So I found it fascinating this whole. If you if you look at Shulchan Aruch, if you look at Shulchan Aruch, uh, in in Simon, in Simon, Tuf Kuf Samech. Listen to this. V'chein iskinu sheho oirich Shulchan. When a person goes ahead and makes, makes sets his table, lastly suda laarchim mechasam imenu maat. You should go ahead maat. You should not serve all the all the food. Umeiniach makam ponoi. And you should leave an empty space below Kaara, Mina Kaarois, and without a uh, without a uh, a plate. Mina Kaaris or Ruyas Lasse Sham from the plate that's ready to be placed there. U Kishaisa Oisa Tachite a Kesava Zob and women make jewelry out of silver and gold. Mishayara mi mini hat tachit, 
Shnevehegis behem, you should go ahead and leave over part of the taqshit that the knowing today, shaloyi taqshit shalim, it shouldn't be complete. So the the, the being the, we don't do any of these things. Then they put Eifah Makla, which we do do. An example, V'yesh Mekomo says that Ramah, Shenoigu L'shaber B'kois B'shas Chupa, we break the Kois, we all of us, all of us over here have stepped down on the Kois. Some of us were successful the first time, some not, but we all went ahead and stepped down on the Kois. And this is also all the Zeicha L'chorben. Says the Ber Halacha, this says the Ber Halacha, that means the Chavet Shayim, the this table, you should set the table and withhold food, right? We don't do any of this. We do some of it, but come on. How, did you ever not serve food? Did you ever leave a place? No, we never did that, right? We never did that. So he says, So the, the, that's the Shulchan Aruch from, from the Ben Yishchai. Here's the reason. Bitsarachin, this is taken from the Dear Shu Mishnah Brura. Bitsarachin, Shekol Ze e Noigen Klau. Vakafa Chaim Sifkot Yutches Kosav Tam Lakach. Shedafka Bismanehem, in their day, Shahayu Seder Le Tavshilim. They had an order of their Tavshilim, Shemei Vi and Lifnei Archim. In other words, there was Kalam A, Kalam B, Kalam C, Kalam D. They all brought, you know, first this, first this, first this, first this. Then Cain. When one was missing, they'll realize one was missing, and it's the, therefore it's a zeichel lechorben. It's manenu in our day and age. She ain't seder el kol echad mevi kafi yichol lechalasai yicholtai. In other words, our suda depending on a person's wealth, that's what you get. The wealthier person, right? The imkain kishem chaset tavshel. If you're missing a certain food. Ain't a nicker, it's not recognizable that you're missing the food because of Zechel Khurbin. El Shaimim, Shezu Yecholtoi, Shabalabayas. In other words, he, he can't afford more than this. So it's not nicker by missing the food by the Zechel Khurbin. And that's the reason why Nagu. He gives a reason why Bismana Zer, we're not knowing to go ahead and hold back food. Ach Sayim, Shemikamakam Nira, Shiniach Makam Pone Bolikaira. You should leave a place. Without set the table and leave it a place without a, 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 a plate. Kadeshi heka ktsas, you should have a little bit of recognition of Zechel Churbin. We yechuven a love shu Zechel Churbin. However, we are a shulchan kasu, shaachshav ain on a yoidim, mize the kosha had seal of anenu, ma makam apone. We don't know what he's talking, you know, it's hard bismana zet to figure out what does it mean an empty space because Zechel Churbin. So again, even though Agamora mentions this, this, these things that are at the tachshitim and the nashim, we don't do that. About the missing plate, we don't do that, right? But again, some things we do do, but Linyan Zechel Lechorbin. Again, once a year, we're, we're reminded of Tishabov. It's interesting. When you go to Eretz Yisrael, you say the bracha of the Yerushalayim a lot differently. You say, you say the bracha of Yerushalayim a lot differently. And I share with you once, I'll share with you again. The Gemara at the end of Saita, it goes ahead and tells us that, that the the just the gullus keeps on going over again and again and it gets worse and worse and worse and the and and the avevers get worse and worse. What keeps us going is the volatzion. Rashi brought in the the the, the volatzion. I saw the chavetz chaim said gavaldik. Said like this. I heard. I didn't see it. I heard that that if the source of our ongoing gullus is the fact we're getting worse is the fact there's no binyan based on Migdash. So why cry out Shema Kalenu so much? Just daven that we should get a base of Migdash. And if you have a base of Migdash, Mimelo, all our problems will go away. So people have so much kavon and Shema Kalenu are missing the point to some extent. If we'd have more kavon of Yushalayim and Yercha Berachamin, Berachamin means it has nothing to do with us, Hashem. If it's your Rachmonis and it's a minus in other words, it's nothing to do with me. HaKadosh Baruch you're going to go ahead and you're going to rebuild the base on Migdash. Why? Berachamim. So have Kavona by that bracha. Memela, memela, you will have a need for Shema Kaleinu. Everything will get better. Be'ez Hashem, the base on Migdash should be built from Herbie Amena. We should be saichet to the Gael Sedek.